Seven Steps to Yes is my little cheat sheet for for some reasons why uh, you know decision makers should say yes. And so you should have uh, several different uh, trial closes that you use at your disposal. Uh, but my seven steps to yes is they're kind of my my trial closes using discovery and using uh, in essence our products in order to close people and what i mean by that is the benefits of our products and so we don't sell products that's never a great idea to to sell products but but it is a good idea to sell the benefits of certain products and the way you can do that is by directly talking about those benefits and and asking uh, the the decision maker if in fact their their employees uh, are properly you know covered or if their employees uh, would struggle in some of these areas so I have seven steps to yes these are seven little helpful tips and my first one in, in is uh, paycheck to paycheck you know, you can ask this question. Let me ask you a question. Uh, if your employees are living paycheck to paycheck, well, then they need to protect their paychecks in case of accident or sickness. This is the classic, you know, you know, uh, paycheck coverage. And, and in fact, one of the illustrations you may have heard some people use is the money maker. You know, we ensure, we protect our cars, our cell phones, we even insure and protect our pets. But are we insuring and protecting the money maker of the house, the person, the employee? Uh, are we, in, in fact, uh, insuring that paycheck? Especially if employees are living paycheck to paycheck. And so we can ask the employer, are your employees paycheck to paycheck? And if the answer is yes, well, then you should consider sitting down with one of our benefits counselors. Another question I like to ask is, let me ask you a question. Do you think most of your employees are like other uh, you know, employees throughout the United States of America? Because if that's true, then that means they don't have $5,000 in the bank. And if they don't have $5,000 in the bank, and if they don't have major medical, or let's say they do have major medical, but they have crazy premiums that are above $5,000, then you can ask the question, um, do you have $5,000 in the bank? And if the answer is no, then you should sit down with a benefits counselor, right? The third question I like to ask, of course, is, and this is one of the questions almost everybody asks, but we, we have to you know, use this information. And that is, do you have major uh, gaps in your medical coverage? Remember, because of the Affordable Care Act, because of the Obamacare, a lot of the policies changed. And what that means is the, the deductible went from $500, $750 to, you know, three, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. And so going back to the previous question, if they don't have $5,000 in the bank, then they're, they have insurance that they can't use because they can't cover the deductible. Or maybe they have a 80-20 plan or a 70-30 split with their, their health insurance. And so if they can't cover those gaps, then they should probably sit down with one of our benefits counselors. Another great question to ask is in regards to sick or injured on or off the job. Most employees don't realize that if they're you know, injured off the job, well, there's no L&I off the job, you know, and there's no coverage, you know, for, for that if it's off the job. And so if they don't have any major medical at all, they're totally on their own. Um, and so that's an important thing for them to realize that they need to, to protect their paycheck, especially if they're sick or injured and have any kind of long-term layoff where fine, maybe they have major medical coverage and they're paying the doctor and they're paying the hospital, but are they covering their rent? Are they covering their groceries? Are they covering their, their car payment? And so remember, these are, are bullets or, or they're, they're arrows that, that you're gathering during discovery. You're gathering during conversation. You're gathering during you know, your, your drop buys. And so you use this information to come back to trial close, right? 
Uh, one of the things I like to use when I go into beauty salons is I like to ask if, you know, if they have any coverage and if they have, you know, any coverage for pregnancy. And so, you know, a lot of these gals, I mean, they have a really good idea of when they're planning their family and when they're going to be pregnant. And so, honestly, getting a, a, a pregnancy policy when they know they're going to be pregnant in, you know, 10, 12 months is like money in the bank. And so, you know, they can afford to... Um, to purchase a policy that gives them, you know, six to eight weeks uh, coverage because when they're not at the salon, they're not getting paid. And so this is a, a great protection plan for them and another reason to say yes. Well, what about if you're, you know, a, a young person and you just, you know, just got married and you don't really know, quote unquote, how it works. You're, you're newly married, you've got kids, you know, you're the financial breadwinner. And not only do you need to protect your family if you get sick or injured on or off the job and you're not working? What, what if you're not there? What if you die? And so life policies come into play. And But, but, but you see how this is a, a, a subtler answer or a subtler question rather than saying, hey, are you afraid of dying? You know, do you have life insurance? Hey, do you have, uh, you know, cancer in your family or stroke or heart attack, you know, history in your family? And so there's nice, subtle ways to, to throw out trial closes. And then finally, my, my file, final one is, of course, uh, when there's no coverage at all. If your employees don't currently have coverage, then you should say yes to sitting down with one of our benefits counselors that's going to explain to them how, how to use a wellness card, how to use MD Live, the complimentary products that are available to them because the employer is providing them and because we can pass on that savings to them. And so seven steps to yes are, are great little bullet points for you to use. Now remember, you don't use all seven of these, right? You don't just rattle down the list. You, you, you got to have you know, some savvy. Okay, you, 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 have to, you, you have to understand when and how to use this. So if you've heard things in discovery, you don't have to pounce on them right then and there. Just, you know, like a bullet or, you know, or like a quiver, you know, in, in, your, you know, in your arrow. Um, just hold on to it. And then at that pivotal moment when maybe you're, 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 you're getting a stall, you can ask those questions. Well, let me ask you a question. You had mentioned that your employees mostly are paycheck to paycheck. Wouldn't you like to help them in that area? Wouldn't you like to provide a, a process where they don't have to take draws? You know, they don't, you don't have to loan them money. You're not put in that difficult position. Let me ask you a question. Can your employees afford the deductibles that they currently have? I mean, you're, you're paying $300 a month per employee. You're spending you know, $50,000 a year, are you providing coverage that your employees can't use? Let me ask you a question. Uh, are there major gaps in your, in your medical coverage? Um, do your employees have gaps that they can't afford? Let me ask you a question. If your employees, and you know them, and you know they're weekend warriors, and you know they run off on the weekends, if they got sick or injured off the job, are they covered? If they got sick or injured off the job on, on a Saturday, would they come in on Monday and file some kind of false L&I claim? Let me ask you a question. Are you thinking about starting a family or are your, your staff thinking about starting a family? Let me ask you a question. I, I see you've got a, a, a lot of uh, you know, young people here and you know, they're, do you have a lot of newly married you know, with children? And then finally, let me ask you a question. Do you have coverage? Are you able to provide medical and health benefits? Would you like to? Would you like to do it in an affordable method that's actually practical and useful? And so these seven steps really empower you to give you reasons to give the ownership a reason why they should say yes.